Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be responding to my favorite hate comments. <laughs> this is round four. So if you've not seen my other videos, please check them out. Also follow me on Instagram at a heated mess. Whenever I get an interesting or funny or racist or whatever comment, I post it in my Instagram stories and my reply. So check those out, but we're gonna just kind of run through it. I'm at a point now where so many comments are just repeat the same themes. Let's just dive into them. The first one I have, the EN official says fake in thumbnail, but I thought she was talking about her face, LOL, bro. What kind of next level Botox is that? So anyway, I respond, bro, not Botox, just great Filipino jeans. But thanks so much for the compliment. I discuss my ethnicity and features in this video. And then I linked my Q&A video where I answer some of my most repeatedly asked questions, including what my ethnicity is. I'm Filipino. It comes up in every video at this point. I just thought that was such a funny comment. And then I just caption it, Asian don't raisin with a Filipino flag. So yeah, check out my other videos. I'm not young anymore. I'm not in my 20s. I am in my mid 30s. I have three rambunctious boys from age two to 10. So I have my hands full. And you know, I'm at a point now where it's a compliment and I'm not passing judgment on whatever, you know, people who get fillers and Botox and a nose job and whatever. I haven't had any of that on my face. The only thing I've had done to my face was I had microblading on my eyebrows and I had an intense allergic reaction to it. I have very sensitive skin to anything that's like anytime it's poked or prodded or, you know, when I get needles or, or when I get bug bites, I have a really severe allergic reaction. So I'm at a point where I don't get anything done. I don't, I've never done fillers, either lip fillers or cheek fillers. I don't even know, under eye fillers, I guess is a thing. I've never had Botox. I just, I don't do that. I don't, I've never had a nose job. And I have said this in the other videos, I am Filipino, okay? We're basically a mix of Asian and Spanish. So our features run the gamut. You know, I have very full, these are my real lips, okay? <laughs> I have full lips and I have a small-ish nose and I have not had any Botox. So it's very complimentary for viewers for their first thing to say is just to assume that I've had so much work done on my face. I just think it's so funny. So next level Botox, what, e what even is next level? Not only does this person think that I've had Botox, but some kind of advanced <laughs> superior grade Botox resulting in my face looking like this. So I guess they think I'm young. Thanks for that backhanded compliment. There's this comedian who has, you know, same age as me. Her comedy special was called Elder Millennial. And that was the first time I heard that phrase. And I was like, oh my God, that is, I'm an elder millennial. And this was a few years ago. Now it's, I think the official term is geriatric millennial. So yeah, I'm a geriatric millennial. And so when viewers think that I've had Botox or whatever injections, thanks. <laughs> so anyway, if you've had that done, let me know what your experience is. My husband is kind of against anything like that. I kind of don't want to do it either, just because I think it's interesting that I can affirmatively state that I haven't had anything done to my face, but yet people are so quick to hurl that as an insult at me. So this one was kind of sad. Same video about the counterfeits. IVB writes, you're the kind of person that doesn't visit their elderly mother knowing dang well, but the person taking care of her only makes 10, $11 an hour and doesn't even have medical what <laughs> completely unprovoked i don't know where this came from it's it's so interesting that somebody can think they are gleaning that information from a 10 minute video so i responded seems like you're projecting a very personal troubling concern and guilty conscience i'm sure you're doing your best praying everything gets better for you and your loved ones and so and then i captioned it ivb is going through a hard time and needs our thoughts and prayers everyone is struggling with something or multiple things and a common response that i have when i get such visceral anger you know unprovoked rude mean comments is praying for the person commenting that because they're obviously very angry or upset they're projecting their insecurities their anger at a complete stranger you're the kind of person that doesn't visit their elderly mother. What kind of person is that? I mean, if this IVB, that sounds like that's that's her situation. I guess she relates to that. I don't personally relate to that. My parents are not elderly. <laughs> I mean, it is true that I don't visit them, but that's because of the pandemic and they're, you know, living in the Philippines right now. I hope things are getting better for IVB. I'm approaching an age that they call sandwich parenting, where you have 
young children you're taking care of, but then your parents are also reaching this elderly stage, and so you need to provide elder care for them. It's a tough situation. So yeah, they call it sandwich parenting because you're taking care of dependence on both ends of your life spectrum. So IVB, I hope things get better for you. So this one, her username is she tried it. You are a bish, B-I-C-H. People may not know they have a fake bag, but either way you judge. Clearly you are a broke individual renting a roof over your head, trying to act like Louis Vuitton knows who you are. Now, Uma, push that back to you, dot, dot, dot. So I wrote back. Ooh, is Bish the new sis? Thanks, sis Bish. Hope you're trying to have a blessed week. And then I wrote, <laughs> and I captioned it, Gen Z lingo keeps me young, team center part. So again, I'm squarely a millennial, Gen Z, you know, they're up and coming. And this is why I'm on TikTok. You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep young, trying to like relate to the kids and their new lingo. Sis is a, is a big one. You know, hey sis, that's, what is it? James Charles, I think use that a lot. So I don't know, is, is Bish? B-I-C-H, that's a new one, that's cool. Uma, Uma, push that back to you. <laughs> She's referencing when we worked for LV, one of our trainings was that when a client would approach an LV employee with a counterfeit bag and ask for either authenticity or you know whether it could be repaired, we could never say that, it. yes, this is a counterfeit bag, we can never confirm. We just would say, this is not our bag. So the phrase that so many viewers were offended by was I said, and then I would kind of push the bag back to them. We would just kind of respond in kind. So if somebody has a bag and they're like pushing it towards us, we would like, okay, here you go. It's not, not ours. So she wrote, Uma, push that back to you. Like Uma Thurman. Okay, I'll start using that. Gotta keep current with the kids these days. So a new, very kind of controversial video, a couple of them. I recently quit my nine to five corporate law job to be a stay at home mom to my three kids. You know, for the most part, and I'm still going through the comments, everyone has been super supportive from my family, my friends, my my job, you know, they had a great send off for me. Check out those videos. I, I kind of vlogged the whole resignation process. Almost every person in the comments, you know, super supportive, but there were a few people who for some reason took offense to my choice and my family's choice, my husband and my decision for me to leave and, you know, decided to judge it and that's great. So this one person writes, RM, this is ridiculous. She can do this because her husband makes a lot of money and is going to now kill himself to support the family. She's on here bragging every other day. Now what? Stay home and shop and unbox. <laughs> so I responded to this person, LOL, or I'm actually earning more on YouTube than I did at my nine to five. Thanks so much for your support and for your completely valid and simultaneously incorrect criticism. At that point, I'm, I'm kind of being sarcastic. If something is completely incorrect, it's, it's also invalid, but I support everyone's right to have a, to have an opinion, however bad and however unjustified and incorrect and out of place it is. <laughs> Similarly to most of my other hate comments, this person RM, I don't know, maybe they had an issue with a spouse who quit their job and then this person RM was supporting the family and it was unbalanced and destroyed their marriage. I don't know. I can't comment. All I know is this was my choice. My husband and I came to this decision and <laughs> how can anyone else come in and judge that? I'll do a video on this. You know, some people were interested. A large factor in that decision for me to stay home and quit my nine to five so I could spend more time with my family and my kids while they're young is that I have a pretty successful YouTube channel. I'm at, I think, almost 74,000 subscribers now. You know, I earn money through AdSense, affiliate commission, sponsorships. I mean, I don't know if it's jealousy or insecurity or both, but I thought that was a funny comment. <laughs> a lot of people are, they're very curious about my husband, what he does, how much our money he makes. I mean, it's just so amusing to me. It's interesting that this RM is so sure that my husband makes a lot of money and is going to is now going to kill himself to support the family thanks for your concern for my husband but we'll be okay so after that video where i shared my resignation story i did a luxury haul <laughs> a luxury haul uh celebration resignation celebration and this person wrote chantel gatson i just not a fan of your videos you act just way too bougie it's people dying and you showing us a plain ass water bottle with the, with the word Prada stamped on it. Why do you feel the need to have two Prada water bottles, Chanel and Dior water bottles? Like, can you tell us the purpose? So I wrote, great question, 
Chantelle Gatson. A water bottle holds and transports water for consumption. Hope that clears it up for you. And then I captioned, water bottles can be so confusing. I ended up pinning that comment because I thought it was so interesting. <laughs> I thought it would help others who are also confused and uncertain about how a water bottle works and the purpose of a water bottle. I didn't realize water bottles are so confusing for people. I thought the intent of a water bottle, the purpose was pretty clear. I thought it was self-explanatory, but some people are struggling and they don't know what it is. Maybe she walks around and just drinks from a river or cups her hands and holds it under a faucet. I don't know. I don't know her situation. With advanced technology, we're able to create a container where you fill it, it holds water, you can, and then you can bring that water bottle with you and you can drink throughout the day and stay hydrated. Hydration is very important. That's another, that's another theme in my videos. I'm glad I can clear it up for you, Chantel. Someone else was upset about the water bottles. You know, I have a luxury channel. I think it's pretty clear. I don't have kind of clickbait titles or thumbnails. It's pretty straightforward what the video is about. It's a luxury haul, a luxury unboxing, luxury bag review. That's pretty much 95% of the content of my YouTube channel. So it shouldn't be a surprise when I have luxury items and it's not just luxury bags, but it's, you know, home decor. So this person was very upset about it. Just like Chantel Gatson, another viewer, Corey Berman, very upset. She writes, you have lost your damn mind paying $75, $120, and $90 for an MF water bottle. That is unnecessary and asinine. And so I corrected her, $95. Thanks for watching, Corey. So she responded, a heated mess. You still lost your MF mind at $95 for a designer water bottle. That's not how you build generational wealth. It's irresponsible and they work just like one from Walmart or Target. I won't be watching any more of your videos. Crazy. So I wrote back. Perhaps the title Luxury Hall confused you? No worries, this is not an airport, no need to announce your departure. And I captioned, an aspiring flight attendant. I've never felt the need to tell someone or comment in a YouTube video, I am not watching your videos. Like, just don't watch it, I don't know. And, and again, like I said, it's pretty clear in the title what the video is about. If a luxury haul is offensive to you or upsets you, I mean, just don't watch it, right? Like, I don't watch things that upset me. There's a lot of crazy stuff out there. I remember at one point, like, like fights, you know, videos where people are fighting. That stuff, it doesn't make me feel good. I feel bad for the people. I have a lot, you know, sympathy for them. I, I don't watch those videos. So if a luxury haul video upsets you, please don't watch it. Like, I don't want to upset anyone. So anyway, I cleared that up and because apparently luxury haul, that confused her. And so she wrote back and again, and I've, I've mentioned this before in, in other comments from my YouTube app, I'll get the notification. YouTube will automatically delete comments that have excess cuss words and links, you know, they think it's spam. So they'll automatically delete it. So even though I get the notification, I can't see what the person says fully. When I go to it, it'll say comment not found. So in this case, I get the notification, but I don't know what the entire comment was. And I was like, oh, I really wish I could have read the whole thing because she obviously, my last comment to her upset her. And so she writes, listen, bitch, I tried to be nice in my response. Don't dot, dot, dot. So I will never know what she said. So Corey Berman, if you are watching this, please, you know, let's let's keep going with this. Let's, let's engage. I uh, captioned, I wish YouTube didn't automatically delete these comments. Would love to keep the convo going. Sorry, Corey Berman. I really wish we could have continued our conversation, but if you're watching this, you know, let me know how you feel. Are you upset? Did the luxury haul title confuse you? Do you have any suggestions about what else I could do to accurately title my videos. I'm always open to criticism. So with that, I am going to wrap this up. Some of my videos upset people. I never want that for any of my viewers. So if you're upset, you know, please feel free to let me know in the comments. But like I said, you better be prepared to hold your own. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.